Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's try our hand at the tangent of the difference of two angles, tangent of A minus B. And now we're wondering, how do we approach it? Do we approach it the same way we did on the previous video when it was the tangent of A plus B? Or do we do something different? Well, let's take a look. First, let's replace the sine of the difference of two angles as the cosine of the difference of two angles in its relationship, in its identity. So we can then say that the tangent of A minus B can be written as, we have the sine of A cosine of B minus the cosine of A sine of B all divided by the cosine of A cosine of B plus the sine of A times the sine of B. So that was easy enough, but now what do we do with that fraction? It turns out, again, you're trying to get rid of all, this, all the cosines of A and the cosines of B. And to do that, we do the exact same thing as we did in the previous video. We multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 1 over the cosine of A times the cosine of B. That way, we eliminate all the cosines in there. And then, what we end up with, well, let's see what we get. So this is equal to the sine, oh, I don't need to use red here, so is equal to the sine of A cosine of B divided by cosine A cosine B minus cosine A sine B divided by cosine A cosine B all divided by, and let me put equal sign over here, so we have the cosine A cosine B divided by cosine A cosine B plus sine A sine B over the cosine A cosine B. So notice we used the exact same trick. It doesn't matter if uh, it is the sum or the difference of two angles. Now we can have a little bit of fun. Notice we have the cosine of B that cancels out here. We have the cosine of A that cancels out here. We have the cosine of A that cancels, the cosine of B that cancels, and we're left with 1 over 1. And here, uh, nothing cancels. But now we can see that the tangent of A minus B can be written as the sine of the cosine, node, which is the tangent. So we have the tangent of A minus, again, that's the tangent, but the tangent of B in this case, divided by 1 plus the tangent of A times the tangent of B. And that's how we found the identity for the tangent of the difference of two angles. We use the exact same trick for both the tangent of the sum and the tangent of the difference of two angles. And that is how it's done.